Well, happening now, some disturbing new revelations about the treatment of America's most severely wounded troops. Fox News has learned that Walter Reed Hospital has cut back sharply on the dining options in the main recovery wing there where most of the outpatient wounded warriors are housed, forcing them and their families to walk or wheel themselves a half mile to one of the temporary food trailers. If that isn't insulting enough, those trailers oftentimes are not handicap accessible. Our national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin is live from the Pentagon with more. Jennifer? Well, Jenna, Fox News has learned earlier this month the military decided to invalidate meal tickets and reduce the hours at the Warrior Cafe, the sole dining facility in Walter Reed's Building 62, where all the multiple amputees and long-term recovering patients live with their families. The decision, which was announced at a town hall last Thursday, would affect Sergeant Josh Wetzel, a double amputee, and about 160 other families who spend up to two years in Building 62. They were told their government-issued meal tickets tickets would no longer be valid at the Warrior Cafe, and they would have to walk or wheel themselves nearly a half mile across the Walter Reed campus to these temporary food trailers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. From Building 62, uh, I would say it's close to a half a mile. Um, from, from Building 62 to the NEX, which is just right across the road, um, is a half a mile. So it's, it's around there. And for guys, you know, that don't have legs, that are, you know, new on their prosthetics or in a wheelchair even, you know, that's a long distance to go. It breaks my heart to know. Now I get back in Vietnam War when all the guys were coming, men and women were coming home, how they sort of feel like. And I didn't think that we, it would come to this. That was the mother of a triple amputee who's recovering up at Walter Reed. The Warrior Cafe is a central meeting point for warriors like Sergeant Wetzel and gives them a sense of independence. Closing it on the weekends leaves them to fend for themselves as they learn to walk again. The parents and wives of these warriors say it is a big setback. Some said they would just not eat on the weekends due to this added inconvenience. Originally, lawmakers were told the Army decision to revoke meal card privileges at the Warrior Cafe was due to legal issues. Late Wednesday, Day, we were told by Pentagon spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Kathy Wilkinson that Dr. Jonathan Woodson, Assistant Secretary of Defense for Health Affairs, has decided to reverse the changes. But so far, the patients at Walter Reed have not been notified of that decision, and lawmakers have not been told how the Army and Pentagon plan to get around their initial legal concerns about the cafe, if in fact that was the real reason for the decision to make the changes in the first place.